Have you ever felt like you are not good enough when you failed to accomplish your goals? I have. After constantly trying over and over just to only end up in failure, repeatedly, I told myself, this is enough. There's more to life than being a beauty queen. I should just try something new, a different career. But there's always this fear inside of me. You know, I've already given it my all before, but I was not good enough to succeed. So what's gonna be different this time? I'm afraid to just have high expectations, have high hopes of myself just to end up with failure again. So how do I overcome this fear of failure? Self-talk is the first step. So what is self-talk? Actually, it's exactly as it sounds. So you have a session where you talk to yourself. And you know, after talking to myself, there were also many times when I realized that because I didn't accomplish my goals, because I failed before, it made me feel that I was inadequate. It made me feel inferior. It made me feel like I didn't believe in myself anymore and it made it hard to see my value and what my strengths were. So that's where number two comes in, is asking other people. So self-talk is a great first step. However, I found out that we are actually our own worst critic. So I turned to asking those who are closest to me, whether it's my best friends, my parents, my sister, my niece, and I asked them, can you describe me in five words? Or can you tell me why you support me? Or maybe even questions like, why do you think I failed last time? What could I have done better? And I found that that was actually great in order to know myself and to know what my strengths were. And sometimes, you know, with failure, you end up not knowing anymore what you are good at or what your strong points are. So I found that this, by asking other people, helped me to rediscover who I was and what my strengths were. So after opening up myself and listening to other people, I realized something very important. I had to stop comparing myself to other people. You see, when I joined Miss Universe Thailand in 2017, I always compared myself to others. And there comes a point in time when you find someone who's better than you in certain aspects. They might have a higher education than you. They might be taller than you, have a higher fan base than you. However, you have to stop comparing yourself to those people who you think are better than you because in turn, it makes you feel inferior and it makes you feel doubtful of yourself. What you have to remember is yes, maybe sometimes you have good points similar to other people. However, your good points as well as your experiences are what makes you unique. There's only one Fasai Boon Suda Jurin in this world and there's only one you in this world. So stop comparing yourself to others and stop trying to change yourself to fit into the mold because the courage to be your imperfect self is what makes you unique and inspiring. Don't be afraid of failure, but be afraid of regrets. One of the quotes that I love is, don't let fear stop you from doing what you love. Sometimes you might just be a step or two away from the finish line, from accomplishing your goals. But if you decide to give up now, then you'll never know. So I'm gonna tell you a story about Fasai Puen Sada which is me. In 2017, I was a runner up. And I thought that that was it for me because I tried my absolute hardest. I gave it my all, but I was just in third place. And I decided, well, let's just stop because I've joined so many pageants and I was always, always just a runner up. Okay, now let's give you some statistics. According to Miss Universe Thailand contestants from the year 2000 to 2019, there were a total of 873 contestants and only 20 winners. From what I know, only a few girls rejoined the competition. And one girl achieved her goal. Her name was Fasai Buen Sudajurin, Miss Universe Thailand 2019. So if she gave up, if I gave up, 
when I was just a runner up in 2017, then I wouldn't have known. I was so close to the finish line, but if I did give up back then, there would be no me now. So perhaps if you're listening, you could just be that close from achieving your dreams, from succeeding. But if you decide to give up now, you'll never know and you'll continue to live with regrets. Evaluate your experience. I always ask myself, last time did I give it my all? If no, then I would ask myself, what do I think I could have done better? What could I have improved? And what can I do so that next time I can succeed? And that is very important. Sometimes I know it hurts to actually go back and look at what you did or what went wrong, but that is key in improving yourself so that you know that the next time that you try, you won't fail again with the same mistakes. Past studies have shown that many who succeeded have failed before. They have also asked themselves, maybe I'm not good enough. Maybe this isn't the path that is meant for me. Maybe I should try something new. If you are asking yourself one of the above or all of the above, then I want you to ask yourself, why did I start in the first place? Is this what I really want to do? Do I still want to continue? If the answer is yes, then I want you to encourage yourself. I believe in my dreams. I can do it. Let's keep going. Change your view of impossible to I'm possible. And I know that one day you will succeed.